Hello, welcome to Support Training Session. Today we will explain uh, how to import the data from flat file to SQL Server database table using SSIS package. Okay. So in earlier session, I have explained what is Bates and what is SSIS, uh, uh, SAS, and uh, uh, what is the Microsoft tool which is provided uh, to extract, transform, and data uh, to load the data. So SSIS is one of the component uh, which is provided by the Microsoft Embeds package to perform this activity, to perform ETL activity. So uh, I will not cover any theory part, uh, I will start with creating a new SSIS package for you so that you will get to know how we can import the data from, uh, you know, how the data would be flow from source to the destination. So our source is flight file and destination is for server table. So this is the, uh, in, your, in my screen you can see here. Uh, this this is the table employee detail table in which we are uh, I'm going to insert uh, the record from the flat file okay and the flat file what I'm using here I'll show this is the employee data CSV uh, this is uh, CSV is actually the comma separated file so I have some uh, random data in this file and uh, we'll, we'll uh, see how the uh, how we are importing the data which is present in the CSV to the SQL Server table employee detail so let me open the CSV file to show you what uh, kind of the data we have for a demonstration purpose I have included a few rows here uh, for related to the employee so let me open the CSV see so it contains if you uh, can see here it contains employee id employee name employee city so three columns and let me create one more suppose some random value here it as a uh, created date so it's like uh, yeah, suppose if you have a data in your csv and you wanted to dump uh, all the data which is present in csv to the uh, table so you can make use of a ssis so let me save this one so now our data we have a csv file we have a data in it and now uh, to create a new ssis package first you need to open the visual studio when you open the visual studio you need to go to the file click on project okay under the project if you see there are a lot of templates available here so in under the business intelligence developer uh, business intelligence template there is an integration service okay in integration service you need to select this uh, this one integration service project and then you can give the name of the project here and click on okay so i have done all these steps and uh, once uh, one and after completed the steps i have created this uh, package i have named my pack, uh, project as a ssis project demo and uh, once the project has been uh, opened what default package will be provided to you it's called default uh, package.dtex okay so i have what i have i did i just renamed this package as import data from flat file so this uh, project uh, this package has been opened now we need to uh, perform now we need to create a uh, how we can uh, now the project is uh, created now we need to uh, include our task to perform the uh, you know to perform the import activity you perform the import of uh, data from flat file so now as we know that our intention is to uh, to make the data flow from flat file to super server so for that we have this data flow task so we need to so this data flow task is basically used uh, to flow the data from source to destination okay if you want you can rename it as import data from file Okay. Once uh, data flow task is in, uh, you have dragged, you have dropped. You just need to double click on it. Once you double click on it, you you have noticed that uh, you have uh, came to this uh, data flow pane, and under this, the tool has been also changed. The uh, the task which is provided in the SSIS tool is also been changed. Here you can notice that we have a uh, tools related to source. We have a tools. Uh, these are the uh, these these are the uh, sources. 
from where we can extract the data uh, from where we can pull the data then these are the list of the destinations where we can put the data and it's uh, it's a list of the transformation tools which we uh, can use uh, to transform our data into the desired format okay now as we are as we know that we are uh, getting the data from csv file so flat file source is the source for the uh, for the csv if you don't know you can click on it and you uh, you will get the description over here you can read a text file specify the single uh, fixed weights or data columns so these are so you just need to drag and drop this flat file source let me delete this connection managers first just need to drop okay so i have dropped the flat file source if you can see here the red icon red icon says that connection manager has not been assigned okay so that means we need to create a connection string uh, which connects to the file so we'll click on the double click on this let me close this double click on it Please let file source. You can rename it and now double click on it. Huh. Okay, so it's got open. The flat file source editor box is got open here. Here uh, it will ask you to provide the connection manager. So for that there is a new button. If you have already connection manager, you can select it as we have not created any connection manager before. So you have an option to create a new connection manager. So click on this new button. okay now we need to create a new connection flat file connection manager okay so here you can give a name csv flat file connection manager okay and here you need to locate the file from where you are trying to extract so the, the file is in file data so let me select this file so i have located this file now if you see here local is english united states so local is nothing but a language so by default language is selected united states you do not need to change it okay uh, most of the cases it's uh, the similar then code page code is code page is nothing but uh, it's a code which is related to the uh, language suppose uh, as, uh, suppose in my csv file you see that uh, all the characters are english characters not japanese or some other portuguese characters so that is why for english 21252 is the default code page okay so so there are a lot of if you want if you want to see there are a lot of greek for greek and say code is 1253 so this is uh, like that only so as we have only english characters so we'll keep as it is uh, it's not a good practice to ch change it so we'll add our file is delimited delimited means uh, the file how the column the data values is separated by uh, in what format is it comma separated it's tab delimited uh, so it's a kind of delimited now header row is carriage written line feed so it's that means uh, uh, how the uh, header row is uh, how the rows are getting uh, identified the rows are uh, now first row second row third row how how the manager will understand that this is the first row this is the second row so uh, this can be identified by the carriage written line field so if you want to see the preview of the data so this this is the preview of the data so it's been there now this is the left uh, this is the co uh, columns list of the column and if you go to the advanced setting here for each of the columns all the properties will be shown like what is the data type what is the column what is qualified is the uh, true or false and the column and delimiter so these are the properties now click on ok once we click on ok the set see the uh, flat file connection manager is been set up now click on columns to find out okay so we have four columns available in csv file so here from here you can see how many columns we have in csv file you do not need to open the csv file now click on okay now that right icon will go on now source has been set up now we know that we need to flow the data to the table what table we have a desti uh, our destination is oledb so we need to drag here again the red icon says that connection manager is not been established before establish the correction manager 
for flowing the data there is there are two present uh, uh, you can see uh, two rows are uh, two arrows are here once you select it two rows are will be open first is this blue and the second is this red one so these are nothing but a precedence constraints we know as a precedence constraint in SSIS and it's nothing but a connector so it will make the data flow from source to destination so we'll connect it now change it if you want you can change SQL server if you want to change the destination name you can change it now double click on it to configure the destination connection manager so we do not as we do not have any connection manager in advance so we can create so first let me delete and create a new connection manager so that we can connect to the database now it is asking us to connect to the server how we can get the name of the server so this is the server name copy the server name okay cancel this dialog box and paste the server name over here okay once you paste the server name here you this button will be enabled and it will ask you to select the database now our database is nothing but a sample db there is a button test connection over here you can click on the test connection to check the that the text connection will be done or not so that means this connection manager is set we are able to connect to this particular server and this particular database in this server okay now we need to select in this database in which table we want to dump data into so there are only three tables available in this database and out of which we need to dump the data in this table only so we selected once we selected there is a button here view existing data you if you want to see is there any existing data available in the database so you click there is no data available so close it okay in the left hand side this connection manager has been set up second step is mapping you need to uh, set up the mapping so in left side you can say it's a input column and the destination column input column is the column which is uh, the uh, which is the column uh, available in csv files so for, uh, as we know that in csv file we have only three columns employee id employee name there is no column here for uh, related to id so we'll keep it as a ignore because we know that id column is identity column uh, we have made the id column uh, as an identity column in the state in the database so we do not need to map this column now employee id is mapped to employee id column employee id in csv mapped to employees id column in sql server now employee name in the csv is, has mapped to the employee name now city there is a employee city so we need to map it and create it map it so all the columns will be mapped uh, apart from this id so it's okay because we know that the sql server will insert the value for, uh, for this column so click on ok and the error will gone error will be gone so uh, in this case so in this case uh, what will happen uh, the data will be flow from source to uh, sql server database table so the project has been created now let's run the project so there is a button over here you can click on this button to execute the package if you see uh, we got the green tick over here so green tick explain uh, that package executed successfully so let me show you the couple of pictures see the green tick will be there that means this task has been executed successfully and this task is also executed successfully and how many rows uh, it shows the four rows will be flowed from so uh, has been flowed from source to destination so let us check in the destination let us check in the table here so i have fired the select query let me execute this query to see see you can see here the data has been uh, uh, data has been inserted into the sql server table so in this way you can import the data uh, from the flat file uh, source or from the flat file source to the sql server destination Hope you like the video. Thank you so much.